what's up guys you're welcome back to my channel and i have new updates here for you i want to bring it to you shortly but before then if you are new to this channel please make sure to hit the red subscribe button so that you can stay updated with what is going on all right guys so it was another nice day and something else has happened remember Atiku was once fined by the court to pay bala ametunubu and the apc the money for being busybodies in their matter and in this incidents Atiku is about to retrieve the money he has paid to them. Festus Kayamo has been disgraced in court ordered to pay 10 million to Atiku ICPC. Justice James Omotosho in a ruling awarded a 5 million fine each in favor of Abubakar Atiku and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission making a 10 million naira fine against Kayamo. A federal high court of Buja has dismissed the suit filed by Festus Kayamo, former Minister of State for Labor and Employment, against former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. While dismissing the suit on Monday, the court awarded a 10 million fine against Kayamo for filing a frivolous suit against Atiku Abubakar, the People's Democratic Party's presidential candidate, in the February 25 election. Justice James Omotosho, in a ruling, awarded a 5 million fine each in favor of Atiku Baka and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, making it a total of 10 million. Justice Omoto Sho, who described the suit as frivolous, vexatious, and abuse of court processes, directed that the fine should be paid at 10% per annum until the cost is finally liquidated. The order followed an oral application by counsel for Atiku Benson Igbano and that of the ICPC, Oluwa Kemi Odogun, asking for costs after the matter was dismissed. Kayamo, who was also the spokesperson of the dissolved Tinubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council, had filed this suit. In the application, he sought an order compelling the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ICPC, and the Code of Conduct Bureau to probe and prosecute Atiko Obaka. Festus Kayamo based his action on the ground of claims by one of Atiku's aides. Michael Achimugu, that between 1999 and 2007, when he was vice president, he, Achimugu, conspired with the ex-president, Lushigun Basenjo, to rip off the country using what he termed special purpose vehicles. The ex-minister filed the suit after the 72-hour ultimatum he gave the three investigating agencies elapsed. He alleged that Abtiko Waka was in violation of Section 18, Subsection 2 of the Money Laundering and um, Section 96, Section 1 of the Penal Code, hence unqualified to contest in February 25 poll. But Atiku, through his lawyer, filed a notice of preliminary objection seeking for an order dismissing the suit for being incompetent, lack of local standee, what of jurisdiction, and for non-disclosure of reasonable cause against him. The EFCC, ICPC, and the CCB, in their separate preliminary objections, also challenged the competency of the suit and jurisdiction of the court. Delivering the ruling, Justice Omoto Sho held that he had two issues for determination, and that was whether the suit was frivolous and whether the relief sought by Kiyamu could be granted. The judge who said the jurisdiction of the court would be determined also said that the local standee of the applicant would also be looked into. Local standee is the capacity of a party to institute an action. It interrogates what is the business of the plenty with the defendant. The need for proper local standee is to prevent busybody from instituting a suit and restraining them from wasting the time of the court. This was the same action that was taken against Atiku Obubaka when um, the court told him that he was busybody uh, um, in a, a APC affairs when the case of double nomination came up. He said through the court, he said though the court did not say that the ex-minister did not have a right to write a statutory agencies to investigate Abubakar, but that he had not shown why he was affected by Abubakar's action. A citizen of a country has a right to report crime and that cannot be an infraction or fundamental right of any person. But the complaint is to complain to the statutory agencies and not to drag the first defendant with the agencies to court to seek an order to compel the agencies to investigate the suspect. Justice Omoto Sho held that investigating authorities had the discretionary powers to investigate any case and to know if such case would warrant any prosecution or not. 
citing previous cases to back his decision. The law is that the court cannot compel investigating agencies to perform their discretionary powers. The judge who read Kuyamu's letter wherein he gave the investigating agency 72-hour ultimatum to investigate Abu Bakr said the Court of Appeal in one of his decisions cautioned public officers against abuse of powers. He said that it was unheard of that a citizen would give statutory agency 72 hours to investigate and prosecute a, a, an alleged offence. And immediately after the 72 hours was expired, an action was filed. The question is, is 72 hours sufficient for the investigation and conclusion of action of this nature? The answer is no. Omoto Shaw said that Kayamo did not even give a reasonable time for the statutory bodies to act before filing the suit. He said the case was frivolous and an abuse of court process. He said it was high time public officers knew that statutory agencies should not be used to settle political discord. The judge therefore commended the ESC and ICPC for refusing to act in a way that would suggest that Kayamo was giving them directive. Omoto Shaw, who described the suit as frivolous, vexatious, and abuse of court processes, consequently dismissed the suit. Shortly after the ruling, ICPC's lawyer Odogun asked for a 30 million fine in favor of his client. She argued that the ICPC had been diligent in defending the matter and that time and resources had been wasted. Also, Abubakar's lawyer, Mr. Igbanoi, prayed the court for a 200 million fine against Kiyamu, considering that his client was former vice president and presidential candidate in the last election. The Kayamo's counsel, O.C. Uju, disagreed with the two lawyers, asking the court to dismiss the application for a cost. The judge, however, awarded a five million fine each in favor of Abubakar and ICPC. And so that is how the case ended. Follow up for more case info on what is going on in the tribunal on this channel, as I will bring to you update of all the events going on. All right. So today, also in court, um. Article Peter Obi and his lawyers also brought in loads of um, evidences again to the court. In fact, eight other states were being brought, presented in the court. So um, he is still fighting the case in court and we are going to see what is going to happen. I am going to keep you updated every step of the way. So please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Turn on your bell icon and set your notification to all so that each time we upload a video, we will notify you of what is going on. I am going to bring you a report on other updates that is going on. We also have issue of um, the Benue State House of Assembly election and we are going to tell you what is going on in the National Assembly as the seat for the um, Senate President continues to hot up. Just days ago, we noticed the presence of um, Wike in Asso Rock where he went to um, greet the pay homage to the President. Well, could it be that Wike is veering for a political office? Whatever the case is, I will keep you updated on this channel. So make sure to subscribe before you leave. And thanks for watching.